In this tutorial, we'll go over how to create different views. I'm going to do a new, and rather than the standard drawing sheet, I like to use a Canvas A1. Click Create. You can fill in the default information here, the project name, your name, the class period, and the figure number you're working with. For example, if I was working with the cow catcher, I'd write in cow catcher. Then we'll use the base, the magnifying glass, grab the piece that you want to work with, click open, set your view. So here I want an isometric top right, top front right view. Drag it up into the top corner. You can change the, um, for this view you want hidden lines removed and you want it shaded. If you needed to scale it up, you can change the scaling here and click OK. Then go back to the base, grab that piece again, place the front view, then move up above, click to place the top, out to the right, click, right click, and choose OK. Some other types of views that we may need to do, if we need a back view of this, we can go to projected, click the side view, pull out to the side, click, right click and create to get a back side view of it. We may need section views. To do that you click on section, then you click on the view to activate it. It creates a little dotted line as I move out that tells me I'm in the center. I'm going to click, go to the middle, click straight down click, right click and continue and I can pull that out to the side and it gives me a view of the inside of it so that I can dimension some of the parts that I can't see from the other view. On the smokestack I have to do it a little bit differently. Normally we would come in and put the front view first here but instead what I want to do is change it to a top view drag it up to the top position and click OK. Then I would do a section view, click, come out, click to the side, to the center, straight down, right click and continue. And we're going to drag it down below. And then we'll see if we can do a projected off of there, right click and create to get a front side view of it. This allows us then to see inside of it to put dimensions on it as well if needed. Cowcatcher has kind of a strange section view. I need to be able to dimension the cutout portion inside it. So I'm going to click here, come over and click, go to the center, and then come off. And I want to see this perpendicular symbol, kind of the upside down T. If I'm too far away, it's not going to give me that. So. I've got the T right there. I'm going to click, right click and continue. And then we'll pull it straight down and that'll allow me to dimension the distance right here. Now another type of dimension that we've got is a detail view. Detail will allow me to zoom in so I can click. I'm going to come here and click an area. Click again and then expand out to grab that and I can set it to 2 to 1 or 3 to 1, however large I need to make it. And then place it and then I can come in and do my dimensions and it shows a larger view than what we had here. Uh, to see that again, we could do that on the wheel as well. Click, come in, click again, expand around, change the size of it and then go find an empty spot to place that detail view. If you need to, you can take just the title and move it over so that it's not overlapping.